Welcome back to Ubad's lab and today we're going to be making potassium tetrachlorocuprate. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Potassium tetrachlorocuprate has a chemical formula K2CuCl4 and it's made by reacting uh, potassium chloride with uh, copper chloride and uh, adding more chloride ions to copper chloride actually creates this uh, anion called tetrachlorocuprate and this anion bonds with the potassium cation to form potassium tetrachlorocuprate and apparently this uh, inorganic salt complex has a very vibrant green color to it so I'm excited to see that and uh, here's the crystal structure of potassium uh, tetrachlorocuprate dehydrate and the equipment for this experiment includes 3.32 grams of copper chloride and I actually made this in one of my previous videos so if you're interested in seeing that, the link will be down in the description to that video. And uh, 3.25 grams of potassium chloride and 16 milliliters of distilled water. Alright, so I've got my 60 milliliters of distilled water out now. And I'm going to start by adding my uh, potassium chloride. As you can see, I weighed out uh, 3.25 grams of potassium chloride. And I'm going to add that to the 60 milliliters of distilled water now. Alright. And I'm going to mix this around and let it all dissolve. This would be a lot easier with a magnetic stir bar. Definitely an investment I'm going to make in the future. <laughs> All right, and now I'm gonna add my uh, copper chloride. Let me show you that. I measured out 3.32 grams of uh, copper chloride, and let's add this to the solution now. Very nice. Alright, and let's mix this around, and the solution has turned a nice blue. I'm pretty sure uh, potassium tetrachlorocuprate uh, has a nice green color to it, so I hope to see that pretty soon. Right, I'm gonna keep on mixing this, let it dissolve. Alright, so I'm gonna keep on mixing it, let it dissolve a bit, and then we'll get into the evaporation and filtration process later on. Alright, so I let the solution sit for a bit and everything dissolve, and now I've got it on a boil to get rid of all of the excess water. And you can see that the solution turned a nice vibrant green. So we know our potassium tetrachlorocuprate has formed. And I'm pretty excited to, uh, for this all to evaporate and go through the filtration process. So I've uh, been boiling off the water, but I get, wanna give you guys a quick update on the color change. It's become even more green than before. And uh, we're almost there on getting rid of all of the water. And I'm just waiting for the solid precipitate to form. And then we'll run it through some filter paper. I'm also pretty curious to what this reddish brown formation is on my, uh, let me focus on that. There we go. On uh, my uh, glass stir rod is. If anyone knows, please comment down below. Uh, could it be copper oxide? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, pretty confused by that. So as the uh, solution is cooling down, there's this pretty hypnotic 
uh, pattern that's forming on the top of the solution and it looks really cool wow look at this pattern now it seems like all of the top is going to the center and then sinking to the bottom it keeps on switching between uh, different patterns it's uh, pretty fun to watch all right the solution is a nice dark green now and I'm gonna put it into uh, the ice bath to cool off and hopefully we'll get a precipitate All right, after letting the solution sit in the ice bath, we finally got our solid precipitate of copper tetrachlorocuprate. And I'm gonna let it go through some filter paper now. It's a pretty low yield because, I mean, our starting reactants were uh, very small as well. I didn't have that much copper chloride to spare. Alright, the uh, solution is done filtering out. And now we have our solid product on the top. And I'm going to transfer this to another filter paper now to dry. a nice green color to it very nice and uh, this is our final product of potassium tetrachlorocuprate let me just get all of the extra bits onto the filter paper Right. it's pretty low yield but I'm still pretty happy with it oh my god it's so windy I don't want this to fly away on me hey I'm holding it down with uh, almost everything now there we go all right it's held down pretty well all my stuff's flying around but not my potassium tetrachlorocuprate got this held down pretty well I'm just gonna keep on getting everything out all right and this is our final product of potassium tetrachlorocuprate I'm pretty happy with the results it's a nice vibrant green color and yeah I want to give you guys a quick update of what the potassium tetrachlorocuprate looks like after uh, completely drying uh, it's pretty nice uh, nice vibrant green color um, it's uh, kind of light green in some areas and it looks really nice pretty small yield though if you like look at it compared to my hand <laughs> um, but I'm pretty excited to bottle this and uh, store it don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed watching uh, then I'll know to do more stuff like it uh, anyways thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time